Pop facts with Robert Reese, people. We got a good one right here. You see the picture up there? Zach drives fast. I've been scrolling through uh, his short videos, and he seems to be one of the main people that says we should not be doing this. Customers should be doing this. There's bad customers that do this and that. But then at the end of his video, he always has a, a saying or statement that's like, duh, but everything else in between does not really make sense. Uh, I have a question for this guy. Um, first of all, let's get into the first part on what I wanna do. He gets into many, many times about how we use our own vehicles and that um, we have a tipping society and a tipping culture and you guys should know about our culture because we are using our vehicles. Now here's what I gotta say to you about using our own vehicle. You are using your own vehicle. Put it like this. If you are a straight commission salesman and you had to go out there and make sales on straight commission, would you be going to every person that you talk to and say, you have to give me money just for me coming up to you, not you coming up to me? Ask yourself that question right there, okay? Ask yourself that question right there. Then secondly, on this whole tipping thing, okay? On this whole tipping thing, if you get paid by what you go out there and produce, are you gonna not hit every single person that walks by so that you can go ahead and make your sale? Or are you gonna say, I don't think this person is gonna do anything or this person's gonna do anything, so I'm not gonna talk to these people? Think about that right there. Just because you're using your own vehicle, that doesn't mean anything. What you are saying is, if we worked at a W-2, it would be better because they're paying for the vehicles that we are using. Yes, but you are your own business. So what is the difference from you paying for your own for your, uh, your own vehicle? What is the difference right there? Okay, you guys have said and you have said what customers are bad and and everything else like that. I'm gonna tap into that right now. Also, I got something for you right here. Couple different scenarios, okay? Now, let's say, and I'm gonna give you three different scenarios here, Zach, okay? Three different scenarios. I want everyone out there who is watching this video to pay attention to what I am going to say and see if something is missing in your thought process, okay? Now, before we get into these three different scenarios and situations that I want you guys to pay attention to and you see which one is best for you, I'm gonna show you a couple clips of some cash tips, okay? And then after the cash tips, okay, I'm gonna show you or give you these three different scenarios. And by the way, I have a cash tip playlist with a lot of videos up there so you can watch them in action. But first, okay, first, take a look at these clips and then we're gonna get into these scenarios. Enjoy. Cause I know I did. <laughs> ah, Ten dollar cash tip on DoorDash, people. What you guys gonna say? My service is all what it does. They hit me with this stuff. Take what the next left onto say? Calle Agua. And this is my next order. What are you guys gonna say? This order was twelve seventy five. They gave me an extra ten. Twenty two seventy five, and I got me another one. DoorDash drivers, quit complaining. You Karens, step your game up. Hot Facts is here. Here's the playlist, cash tips. It's there for you guys. Go ahead and click on it. There's many, 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 many more cash tips out there. Learn how to get some. Now let's get into these scenarios. All right, 
we got scenario one. Here is the first scenario. Let's say you are a delivery driver and let's say you work a, a neighborhood in a certain area uh, per periodically. You know that this customer that you are going to, he typically gives you a $2 tip and he typically orders maybe two to three times a week, okay? But he gives you a $2 tip every single time, okay? That equals up from $4 to $6 extra that he's gonna give you throughout the week because it's two to three times in the week that that one customer gives you $2, okay? Scenario situation number two. What if you are a delivery driver? Let's say you're in that same neighborhood, okay? There's another driver there that will, you're in the same neighborhood, your ratings are higher, okay? Your ratings are higher. You're getting customers now that order more frequently. Let's say that this customer that you are delivering to, let's say they order four times in a week, right? They order four times in a week. Let's say this person orders four times, they tipped you two times of the four, but you made $12. 12, let's go from 12 to $15 off of that one cut customer for that week, not including the other orders that you did take to that cut custom customer, right? You have that, right? That is scenario two. Situation number two. Situation number three, Zach drives, drives fast. Here is what we gotta figure out now. Let's say you have a customer, and I have some of these. They order seven days a week, multiple times sometimes in that week, okay? Let's say that out of all the times they order, now seven days is just seven days, but they are multiple time orders in one day. Same household, okay? Now, let's say, they only tipped you, let's say three or four out of the maybe, let's say, let's just double it up and just say 14 trips. Let's say 10 to 14 trips. But they actually gave you $60 in tips that week. What scenario would you like to do? Do you wanna feel happy about the customer that tipped you $2 each time, only two to three times in that week? Do you want the customer that spends more because your ratings are higher and you got 12 to 15 in that week? Or do you wanna have the highest ratings there? You'll get the customer that don't tip every single time, but they are giving you a whole lot more money. Which one of those would you rather be? Which one? Okay, people, you gotta think about that. Don't just let these people say, uh, if they're not tipping this, they're not tipping that, they're not good customers, do not do that. That drives fast is, that's what his videos are about. And that's definitely not the case because I just gave you three separate situations. I'll give you one situation here. Let's say someone ordered five times in a week. They did not tip you any time that week, right? The very next week it started, they gave you 50 bucks because that's what they had. You get customers like that also. You cannot go in there with the expectation. Now, when you said that we have a tipping culture, what tipping culture, who made the culture? Who made the culture and made the rules that said, well, we're gonna twerk out the rules and say that we don't care about doing the service and everything else first, we just wanna get tipped first. Which goes into this thing here, the entitled selfish drivers. The ones that think when a customer's, when it says meet at door, that's doing extra work. That's what it is originally, that's what it is. You're supposed to go to the, to the door. And before the pandemic, there was no such thing as a leave at door. That was only if they were not home, you would have to um, call them and then um, they would tell you just leave it on the door. There was no way to even take a picture then because everything was meet at the door. So. That's that there, okay? Now, when you're out there doing these deliveries, you gotta think, if you guys were doing canvassing or anything else like, like that, you're not gonna skip houses. You're not gonna skip houses at all. You're gonna hit, hit them all 
so you can make those sales. There's no way possible you're gonna say, well, if I go and try to make a sale on you, you gotta give me money for approaching you to try to get a sale. You gotta clear that way of thinking right there. Uh, that drives fast. Those are three scenarios. For everybody else out there, three scenarios. Which one of those would you take? Which one? Now, let's get into this next thing with Nova Dasher. She wrote me last night. Uh, my birthday was June 26th. Roy's was the other day and Nova Dasher's was uh, yesterday. So he told me my numbers were right. Uh, he was upset because I said he has to wear the VHO vest. He says I lied about that and it was misinformation. He said he doesn't have to wear the vest. But when you watch Amazon Prime and all these uh, other companies, they wear a vest to let you know whether it's blue, gold, yellow they were a vest to let you know they gave that to you so that when you are going into some of these hotels and these businesses you are there as a delivery driver okay as a delivery driver uh you said i got the time the time wrong did it in about four and a half hours man the numbers were all the way there but you're a little upset because uh you don't see what you do at vho as employment now as w2 employee work you hinted around it but you never did say it remember i have a video out there when i'm breaking down what's happening in walmart but i tied it into what the big warehouses are i'm doing doing harbor freights the amazons the 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 every single distribution center okay now are you they're turning everybody into working like you're working at the distribution center. Your phone is your SNCC. You scan, you do all that. What they are doing is, in order to keep up the demand, they are hiring third-party people to go and scan the packages, load your own car. When it's regular distribution work, we, they load the dock, forklift comes, puts it on the truck, he just drops it off. He don't do none of that. He goes to a spot and the other uh, forklift takes it out, then they go do their thing. This is much different. They're not using you like a UPS and you work for them. No, you're doing the exact same work. There is no difference in the work. There is no difference in the work. Only difference is you don't have to answer to certain things, but as long as you're on those premises, all their management can tell you some, something and you have to let listen and that's just the way it is that's just the way it is you are doing the exact same thing you don't have a union no you don't have one there won't be one there won't be one you have to hope that they do things like we have here in california to go ahead and make sure you guys are good but you are an employee and I don't know if you were upset because technically from all the content creators that do uh, this in, in, the, in the gig world, the gig economy, you are the only one that went from no tip, no trip to being able to pick every single order that you want to do because on Grubhub, you work in blocks also. So you can't even do it the same on Grubhub. On DoorDash, you were able to pick and choose in your in your super metro area, the DC area, Virginia area, remember I know Dash Bandicoot, you were able to pick and choose when I told people how many orders you guys can deny before you take some. You had that advantage. They took that advantage away from, from you and now you're doing the W-2 work. Now, when you're doing the VHO work, you're not doing the 25 and $30 an hour. Now, when you drop these packages off, there is no expectation of tips when you're dropping off brown boxes to doors. There's no expectation of that, of that now, right? So since reality had to hit you like that, then that means that when you go work on, on uh, the sirens are for you guys, perfect timing. When you go work for Grubhub, I want you to treat every customer like they are supposed to be treat, treat, treated give them that customer service and then see if if you make more tips now that they took your guarantee away okay nova dasher let's see then you will see that you are an employee now you're getting paid what they get paid in the warehouse now 
you're gonna get paid the uh, the 18 the 18 to about 20 23 dollars an hour that's what you're gonna get paid and when you do the, like the VHO job you're capped unless there's a happy customer that wants to do a reverse video how we shoot videos they want to do the opposite and give you like cookies and stuff when you go to the door we see those big videos that's what they do so that's your trade-off right there but you're capped off on how much you can make because the tips are now cut okay and your route is your route unless they add on more packages or more houses to your route everything else you are an employee now I want you to answer that since you want to come at me I said I'm gonna do a video instead so I want everyone to listen to what I'm saying and see if he can come back from this and explain it because he can't okay and he has to get rid of no tip no trip because the VHO job it's gonna erase his brain like men in black it's gonna erase that no tip no trip because every 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 single uh, route he takes he has to complete every single package, okay? People, let me know what you think. Leave comments, like, share, and subscribe. This one is done.